Hello and thank you for listening to Getting Fit with Farmers, a series of podcasts interviewing farmers from around the southeast of South Australia on farming and fitness. I'm Kimberly Langley, a physiotherapist from Good Country Physio. Today I'm joined by Woody. Dolly, thank you for sitting down with me today. Tell us a bit about yourself. Where do you farm? How long you've been a farmer for? And what type of farm do you run? Um, so I've been a farm for the last 10 years on our family farm, just out towards Kaji and out towards Padway, I suppose. Um, main thing we grow is onions and then there's various other um, vegetables and bits and pieces what we grow as well and a bit of small seed and um, vineyards and a bit of livestock. So bit of everything. Pretty, bit of diversity, so a bit of everything, yeah. yeah. Green, yellow or red? So for those that listening that don't know, John Deere, New Holland or Case? John Deere. <laughs> nice <Great. answer. laughs> Um What's your favourite thing about being a farmer? Oh, it's just been good to be outside, I suppose. Outside and about and... Um, yeah, just being outside and about and kind of structuring your own day, how you kind of need it, what you want and what you need and kind of knowing what you're striving to succeed in and, yeah, just... Being outside. Being outside, that's always my thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the most physically demanding part of your job? Um, I suppose we, oh, besides a bit of track driving and, you know, lifting up chemical drums and whatnot and everything else like that and fixing a few things like even I suppose day to day it's just us driving around and um, getting in and out and a lot of times a day just to the ute and <laughs> making sure uh, just making sure not to it well getting in and out of the ute a lot of times kind of thing just starting pivots and checking on people and all that kind of stuff so just, yeah. how's your ute door hinges going? Oh yeah, they start to get a bit of a hiding <laughs> they start to fall off the hinges after a couple hundred thousand goes yeah What's the best farming invention of all time? Oh, I don't know if it's actually just for farming, but I suppose just a, your phone kind of just helps the most, I reckon. Just knowing when the weather and everything's kind of, when um, what's rolling in and just, yeah, pretty much decides your day on what you're actually doing, the yeah. spraying and, and everything else. I guess like it sort of allows you to do that time to prepare yeah. and sort of get organised for what's coming in or like you said how much you need to put on or what yeah, you sort of need yeah. to do how yeah. much you got to turn turn irrigation on and when you should be spraying and if there's showers coming in you know when to pull up kind of thing so yeah, yeah. less running around I guess a lot less <laughs> what's your favourite stretch or exercise you like to do before during or at the end of the day oh this kind of goes back to getting out of the car all the time or the eat all the time just my back I suppose yeah. I probably get a bit lazy at times and I um don't really, don't really get in there. You probably just overstep and step, and yeah. I don't know. After a little while, and just yes, you kind of back kind of starts to know all about it kind of thing. So it's just about stretching and everything else. Yeah, some yeah, back just, sort of just stretches, back stretching yeah. kind of yeah. thing. So yeah, just trying to free it up and nice. whatnot. That's why the that's where my issues from. <laughs> I think it stems from that. <laughs> yeah. 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 when do you sort of fit that in like is it sort of I guess just depends on the day and, and what time you've got or is it yeah from I suppose from standing around well if we're talking to someone um, you might do a few stretches or yeah. you know most of the time it's when you start to get a bit sore kind of thing you start to get wrong yeah. Yeah. React start to stretching to that, up yeah. and react to it kind of thing yeah. so what's your favourite farming joke quote or saying oh I think most things that get said are probably nearly too rude for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have a lot to be honest at the moment. <laughs> so someone wanders down past you up the street, get them to ask you. Yeah. And you might let them know. I'll fill them in. You got a few? <laughs> How important is being fit in regards to the success of your business, your overall health and your mental well-being? Yeah, I think I like being fit. Yeah, it, 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 it's pretty important. Like if you're... I think when you know exactly when you start to become a little bit unfit and you kind of makes it you don't feel that motivated and you know push through your day I suppose so when you you do know when you're starting to feel a bit fitter it's especially I suppose when you're coming into footy season and whatnot and your fitness kind of comes up and you're like oh yeah you can actually you feel a lot better kind of work so yeah you kind of know that it is a yeah you know, important aspect to life yeah. and yeah and I guess that like mental side of things that you get that. Um, 
catching up with the boys and stuff at footy on, on the weekends and during trainings and stuff too. So I guess that's kind of nice too. Yeah. You're getting your fitness done, but also you're getting a bit of social aspect out of it as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who is the fittest farmer you know? Oh, Johnny Orton gives a pretty good run. He never stops. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, yeah, night or day, he's always out doing something. So yeah, yeah. if I can say Johnny, it's yeah. just with the old bloke kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> How would you do your job if you were physically disabled or injured? So like you sort of said, you do a lot of getting in and out of vehicles. How would you sort of go about that if you were injured? Um, yeah, I'd climb around irrigation motors and everything, like into tractors and through the sand. I don't know if the, you would like it too much in crutches or <laughs> depending what kind of injury, I suppose, or back injuries or whatnot, but it's not that not that nice um, if you're in the sheds or sheds and hard ground it's not, probably not too bad yeah. um, you'd probably get away with it a bit, a bit more but yeah, yeah. pretty much you start, start climbing over machinery and you know and out of tractors and whatnot, and up and, up and pivots and yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty it'd be pretty impossible kind of thing even like even like you say if you're on top of pivots and it's nice and wet and <laughs> you wouldn't you know just Sleep it, even if you, it takes you a lot longer, kind of thing. You just got to make sure you focus, and I suppose if you yeah. if you were injured, but like I said, it all depends what kind of injury. Yeah, and then I guess like if you if you couldn't do that physical aspect, I guess trying to get someone to be able to do that physical work for you, as well as plan, like it's just an extra sort of thing to have to think yeah. about and yeah. organise. And if you're already you know lots of stuff going on, that could probably be quite a a lot of stuff to to have going on. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. What do you think you should do or do you do to ensure your body will keep farming into the future? Say, do exercise, for example. And then, I guess, how would you fit that into your day? Um, well, I'd like to do more exercise, <laughs> especially in the summer, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose just just trying to find that bit extra time throughout the day to try and fit it in. Yeah, It's always hard when you you got irrigation to start early. Yeah, and I guess in that summertime, yeah, like in that summertime, where do you sort of fit that exercise or stretches in or something like that? When can you sort of, if you're busy, does it ever get a chance to? Oh, know? just trying to try and make it happen sometimes in the mornings, kind of thing before you go to work. And um, if you know you've got to be up early, maybe like if you're jumping out of the trailer, you've got five minutes, just do a few stretches and try and. Make yourself feel a bit better. Yeah, like you were saying, time and particularly your busy season is quite hard. And yes, yeah, so you can get up early, it's <laughs> hard. So it's like it's it seems really valuable for you to have that fitness in winter to be able to sort of carry as much as you can yeah. into summer. Yeah. Um, is there anything you would change about your fitness at the minute? Like if you could do more, like what sort of things would you try and do? Um, Try and commit to doing more training after footy <laughs> season when you're actually feeling fit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you don't end up backwards, yeah. kind of taking three steps back before yeah. before pre season or through, coming into summer, I suppose, and everything else. Otherwise, yeah. you get to those longer days, and I suppose you are you're not as fit, and you do get more tired and everything else. So yeah. if you can try and keep your fitness up and sort of um, carry that into the summer, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Any other kinds of exercise you'd like to do? Or... Oh, not really. Not that I can actually think of. <laughs> no, that's very good. Thank you very much for joining me today, Woody. Um, this is actually our take two. Um, I have accidentally forgot to record it. So I really appreciate having you again for the second time um, to sit down and have a chat with me. Hopefully all the farmers out there can relate to some of the things you've said or it's given some food for thought. Thank you all those who have listened to Getting Fit with Farmers. Feel free to look at our social media to listen to our other farmers we've had chats to um, and head to our website www.goodcountryphysio.com.au for more information. Until then, keep well, keep moving and here's hoping all of those farmers out there have a successful year.